Uh, I don't care, Jesus. Same. <laughs> same to you. Oh, you don't, you don't. Okay, don't you celebrate Christmas? Um, not as I used to, uh, compared to now. Why? I, I don't know if it's just me, but everybody feels so like it's the whole the Christmas idea. Um, I think it's dying down a little bit. So, how it used to be when I was young, mom would prepare stuff, and then you get the feeling is that I don't know if that's the same thing. Yeah. Ah, it's good you've raised it up. This morning we were discussing it, <clears throat> excuse me, how we used to celebrate Christmas and now. W when you were young, how did you celebrate Christmas? Uh, yeah, obviously, you know, the main thing was the chicken. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> chicken, um, yeah, the rice. You can see the whole vibe. We painted the whole house. Okay. Uh, Mom has our uh, Christmas dresses. Uh, you, you, you line it up on the, on the bed. You look at it. You're, you're waiting to, for that yeah, day for that day to wear it. so it was really a vibe you mm -hmm. know the build-up was was very nice i don't know about now maybe i'm not uh closer to like the younger ones who are celebrating it but i feel like it's it's not the same yeah so how would titi enjoy it um i need i need to i need to know that daddy's lot. running around every yes day. yes but the mom is really uh into that i think uh, when i woke up today i saw she has gifts under the christmas tree okay you know, so that's that's a good thing. Mm, yeah. mm, mm, I see. Right. So Christmas is here and we're celebrating Christmas. Uh, obviously, Rapaholic will, will be on. Yes. I checked online and I realized tickets were fully booked. Yeah. Uh, um, actually, that online on the apps, yes, most of the tickets are gone. But I think there's, there's some tickets in uh, the stores, the physical ones. So, okay. Yeah, if you want to oh, get so that. they are not totally sold out? Um, let's say it's really... Like, you know, there's a lot of tickets gone. So, but I, I'm saying there's still hope today if you want to get it today. Mm -hmm. you know, so you can go to some of the shops. Some don't have it, but I think uh, most of them do as well. Yeah, so because I was checking them. online and in the conversation on Twitter, I've, I've not been feeling well lately. I've been at home and I've been stuck on Twitter going back and forth, <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, having a banter with some of them. And I realized that they were sold, sold out Yes. In fact, I was as much as I was happy. I really wanted to call and ask you that. Ah, really? So does it mean that if anyone wants to get a, a ticket from anywhere else, from any outlet, they are also done? So it's good you you've corrected yeah, that. Yeah, you can get it in the store. You now, what about the gate? Would they be taken out the gate? But we don't do that. So we don't sell at the gates, but. Uh, you know, people do their business on the side as well. Mm. So, 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 same venue? Yes, but then uh, at the dome, the Grand Arena. Oh, okay, so it's moving from... Yes, from the main okay. auditorium mm. of the conference center to outside. Mm. Yeah. How, how much How much are we paying? Okay, now I'm very sure you would know. Yeah. <laughs> I, know, I think it's 150 regular, 250 VIP. Yeah, 250 VIP. And 350 VIP. 350 VIP, and then you can get a table Angel as well. didn't get enough yeah, that's you on TV. Yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Angel didn't get enough sleep, so I'm, I won't bother you too much today. So 150 regular, 250 VIP. VIP. Three, 350 VIP, VIP. VIP. Oh, and super. you can get a table for yourself and yeah, your, your family. Okay, okay. That's super. I can't I can't wait for that. Oh, oh, yes, Oh, come on, come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. Come in. How can Sakonia come and you be yeah. staying? Yeah. 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 Wow. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> oh, why? What's happening there? May I interview? Oh, but what does that got to do with it? It's a of my match. So you moved away from my dad. I'm not sure. Oh, oh man, I said, I'm going to be a guy. Thank you. Sakura, the people love you. Yeah, I'm here particularly. Mm. Um, I sent her a DM. Okay, because uh, my mom is like a big fan of her. All right, my, I, I, my mom keeps up with the TV a lot, so she tells me there's this uh, woman on the TV that you need to. Uh, get in touch with because okay. she's very like supportive of the brand and the whole thing and she says a lot of good stuff about you and so my mom put me on uh, Sister Sandy and I had to DM her and go like my mom tells me a lot about you it, almost each and every day I go to see her okay. oh, 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 Sister Sandy and I, she <laughs> you know, so yeah God bless her and from then I've been uh, monitoring okay and I think yeah she supports a lot and wow. God bless her wow. you, 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 you seem to have a lot of people that love you yes. yet 
people have their own perceptions. Oh, you too known. Oh, I'm Penny pa. Oh, he's this. Oh, he's that. Why do people always say stupid, <laughs> you know, things like this about you all the time? The good side is they expect more, you know, and that comes when somebody, when they really care about you, they really want. Um, it's like the same thing with me and my daughter. My daughter, because I love her so much, sometimes there are certain reactions I want. And she's also almost just like me. She's not mad. She's not sad. She just has her own way of being herself. Okay. So you can't read whether she's happy or not. So when <laughs> Titi can see me in a long while, and instead of hugging, she will look at me for a while, settle down, then come. She yes. needs to repackage. Yes. yes. So I, because I know that thought process, I understand it. Mm -hmm. So I think people expect more because they care more. So okay. I get it. I think if they don't care, they wouldn't really even realize if you are too known or not. Really. And it's not too known. It's just that they, they have will be plus and power or will reaction be our expecting Right. Yes. And maybe when they don't get that, but I'm I'm not well, what they, they are putting out there. Yeah. Does it get to you? Now, no. Because I can't do anything about it, and I know it's not true. So within me, I don't feel like that, and I know that people get close to me, and then they they'll go like that. But there was nothing like mm. you know what they what they are saying. So um, sometimes you you would think, what do you have to do? But then you, at the same time, <laughs> if I do what they want me to do, that's me faking every day okay. of my life, and I don't know if I want to live like that. Do you, do you have a funny feeling that it may affect you someday? That the more they talk about it, the more they say, it, it may become a perception that it, it will be indelible. It's something that you can't easily rub away. No, I don't believe that because I believe in um, if, if it's true, then you have a problem. If okay. it's not, it always works out in a way. Even if it's going to take time, people are going to finally, you know, Put it, put the news out there as in how you are as a person, you know, because they'll have encounters with you. A lot of people wouldn't, you know. So, but I don't think I feel within me that if I know it's true, it would affect me. If okay. it's not, I don't think um, there's anything to worry about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Folks, in case you just tuned in, you're listening to Hits 103.9 FM. King Sarkodia is here in the studio. Uh, highest. You've had too many accolades. Highest. Uh, uh, huh? <laughs> what else? <laughs> Highest. Um, King Charlie, give me more, give me more. I need more accolades. Fly. What be they? What else? No, I've said it already. Now. Now. Now, yeah. Sako, you've had plenty, plenty of them. Yesterday, I saw a video of. Of the young kings, Kofi Mole, yes, Famiya yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they were they were trying to mimic something, <laughs> and it. that was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday I said it, they I laugh. Uh, yeah. when, when, when you see stuff like that, does it get to you? Does it get to me? Mm. Uh, uh, you, do you do you you feel anything like oh, you're teasing? Was, no, 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 no. That was oh, that was our boss is here. Okay, biggest boss. Yes, <laughs> our chief <laughs> operations officer. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, so um, like that video particularly, mm. I felt honored, you know, to have young kids still, you know, in, in the fact that they still remember the genesis of Sarko there and they're having fun with it. That's that's a good thing. Like, who would see that and be and be, and be mad? That's like, so I commented under the, the post. Oh, really? Yeah, I didn't yeah, see your comment. Yeah, I did comment. I was laughing. Yeah, but it was a great thing that <laughs> Mole, because sometimes I feel like even a Brafo, because I'm um, Sarkozy or whatever now, sometimes he will feel like I've forgotten, you know, what he has done. Okay. So once in a while, like when I did the verse uh, prior to his Paimuka concert and I posted that, I can imagine that he'll go like, oh, so, so Sarkozy remembers, you know, these lyrics. That's the same feeling I had, you know, when I see the young kids taking it back and then having the whole uh, tone and everything. So <laughs> that, that shows me that they probably grew up on that. Yeah, right. Yes, yeah. Right. Charlie, but you know, we can never let go of these, these songs, eh? Chale, but where your headphones at? Ah, Chale, yo, yo, no, but one day I want to put you. I remember this is about the second or third time I tried putting you on that spot, but you do uh, Which one? Ah, uh, this right here. Okay, let's go. Sarko, you got the bomb. 
how many members have been the same as Bonamaka Semana Metus or Sabuni Modada, Gana for the Minimusabu Gibi, it's not Yanka was about the Mutitimi Numokasa, Yamana Mosem and Tristi, after the Maya Penamuja Nagasa will be the Miflu Papa, it's a Gana for Crime and Yamodan, Jamoko Pesemi Jai Londo, Nami Riakata, Midi Panasana would take an image and Moko Pesavoko Tanati, Sunabuko Blue Fuse, after you see the Gana music, or be the Minimudia, no use, when you do be a Venam Kahu in the Niva Guna and go school, or be out on the Buas and a member Tristi, not to Mahana Sola Black, take Menamabana Mayana Takataka Basabasa be the Maka Menamana because I become another. I'm going to be the next one. 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 I'm going to be the I can't wait. Ah, so are we seeing Jesu and Sway? Or, okay. okay, okay. Uh, I know you've always you've always had surprises. Yes, for Rapaholic. Yeah. Each each time Rapaholic is on. Yeah. But who, who's confirmed? Um, do I, can I put it out? No. Yeah. <laughs> no. I didn't go for one. Oh, but I think the usual suspect. And then we have one or two people who have not been on the platform before. Okay. Yeah, that will come. Mm. So I'm trying to get most of the people on uh, on the new album, Black Love. And yes, and I think there's there's some few interesting people that will be there as well. Yeah. Mm. You 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 you've not been here since the BT award. Yes. Ah, have you been here since the release of singles from Black Love? I think we had in interview on the phone on the rather. Phone. Yeah. Yes. Online. Okay. Now, for the benefit of those who didn't tune in or who were not listening on that thing, what's all this black love? What, what, what's, what's it all about? Um, it's mainly black love, just love amongst black people. Um, so I had two versions to it. It's black power, black love. Oh. And the black power was hip-hop and then the black love was um, Afrobeat. Okay. So, just the love. so is it going to be an, a, a double album? I wanted to do that, but... I thought about it. I just dropped the black love, and then maybe later on I'll drop the black power. Okay. So, um, the black love has to do with the love, you know, uh, the part in partner between partners, you know, couples, the, the love that everybody knows. And then the black power is the love of black people, mm. you know, taking our power back and loving ourselves as black people. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Uh, when, when it started on the single, there was a lady that looked like a man. I remember with that yeah, down, yeah, that down yeah. something that sparked controversy. Um, I, I want you to explain further why you did that. Um, I'm, I'm just trying to, you know, recap the conversations we've yeah. had in the past. Okay. What, what, what was that about? Um, so I saw a couple of reviews. I seen people saying that was strategic and so uh, And I, I can bet you, like, I had no idea that was what was going to happen because I was there for the photo shoot and, and I know that girl personally. Uh, Maria, uh, pretty supermodel. I think she's a model. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, because I knew her, I didn't see it like that until I think one person said it, but I thought it was not that serious. That was Rude Boy when okay. I sent him the artwork to post. And then he's like, why? why or how far now? <laughs> two men. <laughs> two men on the bed. This logo calls and I'm like, no, I'll be too many. Be girl and a boy. Mm -hmm. So, I, I just threw that away. I knew maybe he was just being extra. And then when I posted it, he he would be said, you see, what I told you now, everybody is feeling the same way, and then mm -hmm. I felt okay. Um, that's how people saw it. because it was very small, you know, you had to like zoom in to see okay. if that's a female, you know. But it was not intentional trying to like spark a, co a, a controversy on that, you know. Yeah, hey, Ghana. I know. Uh, okay, uh, and and you you started off with Lucky Super Song, yes, then do you came up, yes. It followed. It went on and on and on, only to find out that "Can't Let Can't Let You Go" was even a part of the selection. Yeah. Great tune. Yeah. Great tune. Wow. I love it. You know, it was only Sarah that I left it like that because mm. I sang it thinking I would get somebody to come and sing it, and I thought I was not going. The song didn't need a rap verse, you know, so I, I kept it like that. But because it's, it's Afrobeat and Afrobeat is not necessarily Sarah there. Uh, my, my lane, you know, my strong, my strongest part. I chose people who could execute the hooks well mm. for me. That's why you have features of almost every song. Mm. But, but but when when Sarah came out, a lot of people thought Aquawa had a hand in it. Mm. Unfortunately, he was not even represented on the album. Sarah, no, Aquawa didn't have a hand in Sarah. 
I mean, that was what I, I was following. As on. he wrote it? Yeah, that, yeah, a lot of people were thinking that, oh, he did. Aquaba wasn't featured on the Black Naval. No. Was he? No. But why? Um, it depends on the sound. You know, if we did something that suits the project, we'll, we'll put it on. We, we just recorded something. If, if that came earlier, I would have put in that on. You know, because that has the sound. You mean with Aquaba? Yes. Mm. We just did something not too long ago. So by the timing, we couldn't get something that fits you know, the sound. No, but Sarah was written. I wrote to Sarah when I went on my Europe tour like years back. Yeah, three or four years back. Mm. Yeah. So it's been in my mind. But I didn't know um, how. It's like um, Mary. Mm. I don't know if I, you know the story to Mary. Mary was you written told me about as, as the same. Grandma or something? Yeah, no. The song Mary oh, okay, okay. was written the same time I wrote Baby. Yeah. Yes. With movies. So, exactly. So that's how long it's been. Sarah has, you know, it's also old. Wow. Yeah. But why do you write songs and keep that long? <laughs> for, for, you, for you to store such a beautiful song mm -hmm. for years before bringing it out, why, why do you always do that? It's the execution. If I feel like at that, at that point I can't do it to um, how I want it, I will not, I will not touch it. You know? um, like Hope, Brighter Day, the same mm -hmm. thing. I had it for a very long time. Mm -hmm. But because the beat... I felt it, it deserved something way better. The time that JMJ sent me that, I wasn't in that frame of mind. I knew it was, it was a good beat, but if I had touched it at that time, I would just do some regular rap. I had to grow, be more uh, experienced in life to get the right lyrics for that beat. Mm -hmm. you know, so sometimes you don't have to, if there are certain songs, at that moment you can drop it. Some songs, you need time you know, to grow, to become a full mature. man, yeah, mature, so you can really execute what you want to say. Yeah. You don't have to rush it. Yeah. Well, what's your relationship with Aqua Wado? Super perfect. Nothing, nothing, nothing will ever change. Me, myself, and Akwabo, how we are. I don't think anything can change. But he's no, he's no longer with Success Music. Yes. Yeah, so our contract has been like over for a while, and I've always wanted um, every artist on Success Music to be their own. You know, to have. But again, I know they like my affiliation with them because there are certain things that they will still need me to do, which. Right. I want to keep that as well because I also want that. I need a couple at the same way a couple needs me. Um, there are certain songs that even if I write, I will just send it to him. You know, and he will touch it up, change certain things. So that that relationship can never go because it's right. more musical than just business. Mm -hmm. So um, we decided that he still he does his stuff, and then we still work so that he can feel free to you know do whatever he wants to do. He doesn't have to wait on my timing or the, the label's timing to do whatever he has to do. So it's kind of like we're still continuing by a different approach. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, so this Black Love album <clears throat> uh, has what? 12 songs? 19? 15. 15. Yes. Okay. So 15 songs. And I heard prior to the release, some people had it already. Yeah. How? Uh, it leaked. You, know, you, can't, you can't really control that. It happens. It's very, very bad. But this place that we're living in that's what people are used to you know so they had to uh, we had to deal with it it was it, i was really heartbroken that day so if you go back to that day i didn't tweet the whole day until mm -hmm. like late when the when the final the, the original uh, links came out that's when i came back on online because i was really hurt i felt um, to put a lot of work into this and then not present it the way i want to present it it's not good you know but um, but I said it, that we are not going to let it slide. That these people that have been doing this, I don't like this whole court or whatever because when you go, you put people through things that you could just avoid by having a conversation. But I think we've had these conversations over the years and it's not stopping. So uh, we are working on it. The, I, I have names of one of the two, like two or three people who started the whole league. Oh, know? really? Yes, and we have documents that to back that. So we will definitely take that on and they are not going to free for today. If you want to support, I, I tweeted highest thanks to the bloggers, you know, because I, I tweeted when I was about to release highest that they should promote the paid links, and that worked. They did promote that, you know, so I, I knew they could do that, but I don't know what happened at this point where they felt they should put the songs there because you are not even getting paid for that. You just need traffic on your on your site. So why don't you put, wait and put the link? It's the same thing, you know. Yeah. Well, that's very unfortunate. Yes. So of all these songs, which one is your favorite? <laughs> That'd be hard, eh? <laughs> about about wrapping up, I was more into um, Hello featuring um, Kitty. Okay. And then the last song actually on the album is the first song. Okay. That's Anna Joe featuring Kim Thomas. At okay. this point, I think that's like my favorite. 
Really? Okay. So you can, you're not wearing your earphones. So when I start the songs, it's like. So we. <laughs> I get you. I understand it now. Yeah. <laughs> Magic, I'll put it on, but I have producers that I trust. DJ Busy, we, we played this from, from scratch because I gave him the melody that I like this melody, and then he okay. played around it. And um, but shouts to Cubit, I, I think Cubit contributed on the bass, I think. Mm -hmm. Yes, so Cubit was there, myself, Breezy, and then uh, can promise late night. You can hear from the music, like late night music. So <laughs> <laughs> if, we, if we had that session in the afternoon, we wouldn't do this, right? It was like right. around like one, two. And we came up with this magic. Shouts to Breezy. This, wow, wow, this great, good. great tune. Yeah. Great tune. And it happens to be your your favorite for now. Yes. For, for now. now. Yeah, let's not forget that. Because Charlie, someone is listening saying, yeah. Hey. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have a message from Pastor Brian I'm watching. He says oh, he's listening. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. Okay. Uh the the IS boss. He yes. says, Charlie, tell Sack I love the album. Big ups and listening, bless. Pastor Brian. God, God bless, bless you. Pastor. Yeah. He said, Great man, you yes. you are an ambassador for IS. Mm. Yes. Yeah, wow, Guy G. Oh my guy, uh, Oscar. Uh, he directed my video. He says, okay. Charlie, uh, uh, the boy is dope, senior. Well, uh, King Sack is <laughs> a senior. Yep, yep, he is all right. Great one there. Um, they are coming. Oh, Charlie, why this thing too? No, they open. They are seeing me. What okay, okay. <laughs> so, uh, people are asking of tickets, 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 tickets. Um, so we we'll give out tickets. Yes. Yes. Today, Charlie, we go give you ticket, eh? Yeah. If we did the talk talk, it be me. I eh? they come dash you ticket. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they said someone requested for tickets and Tracy say we well, to make it go by. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Tracy, if you ask someone for ticket, I'd be the wrong person. To ask her. <laughs> you say. Even, even herself, she's. She just what's up that she needs tickets. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, maybe she's giving out to friends. Yeah. Or people are pestering here for uh, tickets. Maybe they want to buy. Okay. So, uh, Daniel Kofia Dia says, well, we are rapping Grammy straight. Trust that greetings from Kumasi. Melevan Frank says, I salute you, Andy. You are doing great. Tell King I wrote a song for him and hope to meet him and one day and give it to him. Sack, you are unbreakable. Do you take songs from people when they write for you? Yeah, if it's good. Yeah, if it's good, I'll take it. Wow. Uh... Or Kwaku Ayas says, well, obviously, you're a SAC fan. <laughs> Go highest there. Good morning, Andy Dusty. Merry Christmas in advance to you and King SAC. I'm a student of Tema Manian Senior High Technical School. My question for him is, what's the concept behind your facial track? And when is he releasing our brassier featuring your support? Have a great day. Uh, this is facial song. Yeah. Why do people... It looks as if people have read meanings into it already. Yeah, which is, is, is good. Uh, that's what music is, is you know supposed to do. But it has, we had that song like for a minute. People thought it just released it because you know, you know it's been there. We, we recorded like four or five songs, and that was one of them. Yeah. Well, uh, that song with Yasapong belongs to Yasapong. Yasapong, so he mm -hmm. controls the release mm -hmm. and everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you worried that it's still not coming out? Yeah, I really want it to come out. I think uh, when I go close closer to him, I can see his presentation is very important to him okay. with sound. Okay. And um, I think now he's done. He's looking at. He said he wanted the best director in Ghana you know, to shoot this. The video. Yes. Wow, wow. So I gave him like two names. So yeah. Wow. Miss McMenu said, "Good morning, Brandy. I just want Sakoda to know that I download some tracks because of his verse on the tune." I really like Obidi. Please ask him how he deals with allegations about him as a stingy person. <laughs> <laughs> but, but oh, okay, well, answer that first. Me, I there are some questions I wish I wouldn't even go there. <laughs> stingy person. Yeah, there's nothing that the same same as being uh, not approachable. There's there's a whole lot, you know. But I think as a person, if I don't feel like that's how I am and that's what you're saying, I don't I don't know. I wouldn't deal with it so because dinner with it is trying to let you know that i'm not stingy which i'm not my my, my principles that that beats that i don't i can't fall for that you can't get me to try to prove to you that i'm not stingy yeah 
Right, I see. Erico Papa Old Senior says, Good morning, Andy. Tell Sag the Black album is Black Love album is dope. Please play me Jeff from the album featuring Mr. Ray Shave. You've not even listened to the album. <laughs> <laughs> you choose somebody's song. In Shabai says, I got for the police. I want to have a pick with you, Success, Black Love, and Titi. Uh, Justice Kofi Mesa that he says, Please ask him, Sag, when he's releasing the new track featuring Apietus's version was baddest. Victor Gali says, Good morning, Brandy. Please, Sag the highest. Uh, that, Ask him when he is going to release this album. He has really been my inspiration for a year. Uh, much love, my boss. I am proud to be part of We Are Sack Addicts. Dennis Amano says, They break it. Mr. Andy, thank, thank King Sack for me because he once showed me how to live as a human in life. Merry Christmas. Success last year said, Please tell the king he is the ish this year. Mark in Kansas says, I want to know whether the chorus of the hit song of Future was written by Bright or himself. Stanley Awuku Wilson says, when will he honor KSM's request of being on the KSM show? Haven't you been there yet? Yeah, I was there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah sure. not keeping up. Yeah. <laughs> Lingard says, please, ask him why he's not friendly and don't laugh too. <laughs> <laughs> he just laughed. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's the right way to laugh. And this time, before he says, when is Akode having a collaboration with Manifest? David Law Hassan says, what is keeping King Sark always active in the game? But well, with that, I would want you to answer. Um, if I, if I answer, I'll just say stuff that I think, you know, but I, I wouldn't really be able to point uh, exactly what it is. Myself, I know that I, I make sure that I, I don't let nothing come in uh, my creative process and how I see myself and how things are going. So mm. nothing should break me down. Like whatever you say or whatever happens, I feel like it can bounce right back. That's how I feel all the time. But strategically, that's insane. Because I do music like this, so I, do, I don't I don't have a formula to that. I'm just working like anybody else. But I just have to love it. I don't have to lose that first passion that I started with. Yeah. When when you went to the BET, did you have that in your mind that you were going to win? Um. Yeah, I knew it was it was possible. Looking mm. at um. Yeah, looking at the the squad in there, it wasn't too. It was we we as for Ghana we, we were still standing out. Yeah. To me, at the point, it's about shaking. I was like, yeah. Ah. No, hey. but the good thing is when I when I have to leave for such awards, like especially if I'm going outside, I don't make my mind I'm going to win, so that it doesn't you know become like a thing. That's the reason why I came there. I think on that platform, you know, from people from BET, there's a lot of connections with them. You know, right. the, the, the the company itself. Uh, at this point, they're actually supporting uh, from January for Black Love. They have a whole lot of plans for the, for for Black Love. Nice. Those are the stuff that I I look at. You know make people and just connect and work with them and then if the award comes in that's like a plus and then uh, you know in this case we had it so that rap performance you put up on the cypher yeah was it something you had written already or you prepared it for that show no i have i have a lot of verses like that so that was the idea for black power okay you know, so there's a lot of verses like that on black power like stuff talking like talking about stuff like that which is what i feel now at this point so we, we see i people were on my neck saying um Sarko, they were you know doing uh, songs like inflation the masses mm. are you an mpp because now <laughs> kufado came in you don't want to do any songs and i feel as i'm growing my approach changes i feel like this the the main problem we have i'm not saying masses didn't help or doom so didn't help but moving forward i think it's a way bigger problem that we need to attack the mentality you know how we see ourselves as black people and that's where my, my thought process is at this point down to just focus on the fact that you're not doing the roads and i've said that you know now moving forward what why don't they do that why are they always repeating that so now i'm thinking of beyond just pe we putting people in power but our mindset what success means to black people and that's our problem at this point you know? mm -hmm. so that's where I'm, I'm trying to address so with, with the current government percentage how would you rate the, the 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 current government you see i'm i'm not i will not be able to um because the difference sometimes i don't go around because people say um what, when a government performs well they judge it based on certain things like me they'll say maybe you did the roles or you did whatever mm -hmm. um i'm looking at us winning back our pride it's, so it's way beyond just you know you, bu you built a hospital how were you how did you build it are we still owing why you built it you know those informations is what I'm, I'm looking for because I think our pride is gone and 
we are we are vulnerable because of our definition for success mm. and we feel having material stuff which is okay but you still have to have it with pride you know you don't have to let go because of somebody giving us money and then we the generations have to owe you know so if, if you ask me about who mpp or ndc who did what I, i'm still looking forward to that's why I, I i like to choose individuals in in all parties that i feel you know are the type of people that me i would i would vote for or i would support you know i saw the recent video of the minister i think that went to the place they were building uh, the minister wrote that attitude you see how passionate he was mm. that's what I, I want to see you know that type of attitude is when i can feel safe that such a person if somebody comes in to sell us out he wouldn't you know just because he wants to buy cars or own houses he wouldn't sell the whole nation for that you know so that's what i'm looking at yeah mm -hmm. king sark is still my guest in the studio and we're having a chat uh, i see uh plenty comments coming in uh well 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 well, John Jermaine says, Greek side for me, the song we can promise, hell. Wow. Wow. Well, Our John Jermaine? Yeah, John oh, Jermaine. God bless. Yeah. God bless, brother. A plus says, are they listening, Sack? Where are they watching for some truck truck back right now? <laughs> <laughs> Bra plus. Oh, this guy is so funny. A plus, man. <laughs> Kwame. Charlie, bro, bro, they're for me, go deep for bro. I'm the trail. See free truck truck in my bag. Okay, now King Caution says, I thank God for his life. <laughs> uh, you held a champagne glass. <laughs> they came at you. Small glass, trouble. Big glass, trouble. <laughs> but it didn't come at me, though. It was just, it was just trending. The fact that, you no, know, uh, I think I don't give people uh, too much. Okay. Um, and it's not, it's not like intentional. It's just how I am as a person. Mm. Um, you, you know why the phone thing, I'm, I'm hard to keep up. I like this. Okay. If you ask Mark, I'm like, uh, uncle, me and Shia. Okay. Me and and Kasa. Like phone. To okay. be on the phone like this and talk to me, I can't. Like, I want to see you, so we have a conversation. Okay. So, like, it, it's like going live. I can't do it. I tried it once. I think I, I even did that with Shatavali. He was on the, on, on the phone. And it's hard for me to keep up. I can't see the people, and I have to imagine the people who are looking at me, and I have to talk. It's okay. not my thing. So it's not, like, intentional. Like, I'm, I'm not trying to open up. Because I had a conversation with an industry um, guy, an artist, and he had, a, he had his point on why he feels even my colleagues sometimes see me in a certain way because he was, he was telling me about when he's with them what they say they feel like you have this whole thing blocked like you are just in your own corner you don't want to like open up to anybody and even your pictures like you always seem serious you know <laughs> and that, the thing is it's just how I am as a person until he was saying I didn't see that to be like a, a problem okay. you know so it's not intentional it's just you know how I am wow I see all right more messages. Well, let me skip that and, and ask my own question. Um, there, there have been advocates for 100% Ghanaian music on radio and on TV. Well, we all crave for that. Do you share the same opinion? Yeah, I support the idea. But realistically, we know that there's... Um, I, I would want the percentage to be more. But you can say, you know, 100. Because it's, it's just... Even in, even in the States, they still have a little bit of music coming from somewhere. So, um, the people that we are trying to learn from, I understand. But the dominance should be there, I get it. 100, yeah, it's, it's extreme to spark a conversation. But realistically, on the grounds, what we are saying is, the music should dominate, as in Ghanaian music, this Christmas. Yeah. Mm. When, when you wake up in the morning and you are not trending, or your songs are not loud enough, how do you feel? I don't notice it. Why? Because I don't wake up looking at that. I've never, I've never in my career tried to see if I'm relevant or not. It's, it's not uh, my state of mind. I've not watched, um, like you see the way I'm looking at this. I've not seen, I've not watched MTV Base. I've not watched like, unless I know maybe it's a premiere or somebody tells me to watch. I've not studied this this in like close to seven years. Mm. Yeah. So I'm not really keeping up and trying to know uh, who's this and what has happened and what I'm doing my music because if I do that songs like what you just played with can promise I might not do it because I feel the radio needs this and then I'll have to always find a sound that will, will suit the radio mm. and it, it, it puts pressure on yourself as an artist you need to be locked so I'm not saying all the time sometimes I go out my, my team will take me to the place like a bloom bar and I'll listen to the music and how the vibe is and that's it I'll go back and then use that but I'm not constantly trying to see if you're trending or like who who lives like that you can that means you, your happiness is based on that mm -hmm. you know and not trending can control my happiness i have to be happy with
my surrounding, my family. Is, is, it, is it because you are too comfortable thinking no. that, oh, I'm in a comfortable lead. Let yeah. them enjoy my... I am the pace setter. Let me start this trend so they can follow. No. It's just it's just a mechanism to protect my happiness. Okay. Yeah. Just to not let any, anything control how I should feel. You know, so, so it allows you to enjoy uh, when something is, is still up there. Because if you're doing that, any, anybody that comes up, you find a problem with a person. Okay. You know, so that means if there's a, a guy who wins the best rapper of the year now, not Amy, you know, <laughs> <laughs> like who lives like that. So if you enjoy everything that's happening, um, a situation that never changes. Actually, to answer why you, why I've been here for that minute, it's because of that. Because I, your energy appreciates everything that's happening. So you keep doing what you, ha- what you have to do. Mm-hmm. So I'm not really into the whole controversy and your trending and... If I release an album like what I did with Black Love, obviously that one we need um it's, it's promo tools. So I'll look at trends. Um like now on, on Ghana iTunes, I think we took like twelve spots or like ten. Or yes, all my, my, my tracks, which wasn't happening like a few weeks ago, was dominated by our brothers from Nigeria. So these things I'll follow up because I released the project. But on a regular day I wouldn't come on Twitter trying to see, you know, what's happening with Sakodi or you know. This question I've been I've been fighting myself why I've not asked you yet. I wanted to ask you privately, send you a message on your phone, on WhatsApp or something, or call you and ask you, ah, but why is it that you didn't do this or why are you doing that? Which on the regular, you know, I, I, I only come at you when, when there is that importance. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for me, if, if it's not really, really important, yeah. I don't. Mm. Um, why were you not on the Cardi B show? You were built to perform. Mm. What happened? Um, I think every artist was there, especially I can speak for myself because I knew I went for soundcheck. I was super ready. I put out uh, promo videos and I was there, you know, to perform my duty and then at the same time see to it that the fans that paid to come and see me will see me. Um, I think the show ran from the time they gave me that I'm performing at eight all the way to the morning. Like I think it was good, getting close to four and um, legally, if you think about it, if I'm booked for the eight. If it's twelve one, we are on, we are in the ninth, you know. So, and I need to make the decision based on you know how the whole thing is going. That if I should understand and just do it or not, you know. But to go into details, that's what happened, you know, backstage. Um, I was fed with information, and then I had to decide if I want to do it or not. You know. So, unfortunately for the fans, I feel for them. Normally, that's what happens. I went to um, Dubai. The same thing happened with the uh, uh, Africa. One, yeah, one one Africa concert. It was the same kind of similar thing. And then I just had to go back. And it's not my fault, just that they had to put things together. What time did they give you to perform? 8. 8 p.m.? Yeah. That was what was on the contract? Yeah, run order. And you were there at 8? Uh, if any industry player knows Sakode, that's the last thing. Um, I hate to be late to the airport. I hate to be late for sound check. I hate to be late for anything. I want to be there on time. Like this show, you saw the time that I came in. Mm. So I don't, I don't joke with those things. So if you tell me eight, I'll be there. So I was there before eight, you know, because they were saying I'm, I'm literally going on stage. So I had to like, you know, rush there, got there, and then. Whatever so happened, wait, then. wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Till midnight. Yes. So that the explanation should come from, you know, I think the other side. I know, I know. Uh, in organizing shows, these things, these things can happen. Mm. You know, it's, it's part of the whole industry. I don't think I've always been moving away from shows when it's twelve o'clock. <laughs> VGMA, I perform same thing in the morning or any other show. Ghana meets Nigeria, I can run through to the next day. But I think it's about how the execution and everything is happening at the backstage. You know, which I wouldn't go into details because we've not heard from the other party. You know, but for me to not perform, you should know. And it's not just me. I think some of uh, the Nigerian artists as well they didn't perform so yeah hmm. Pandora Service says Andy we need to sue the organizers of the Cardi B program I stood on the park from 7am to 2am and I left we are ready for the <laughs> 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 for, <laughs> for coverage um Brackwesi says Take My Love featuring Techno on the Black Love is crazy and the one with the young champ Hema is it Hema Suede Hema, Hema Suede Hema Suede okay oh Hema Suede you right on that okay uh, it says not a bad song. Okay. Okay. Uh, hey, see, see how people started post post sack rapping in the studio. How did. Oh, we are live. Wow. Let's see. And on the internet, the small yeah, thing, yeah, yeah. no, you are gone. Oh, I beg. Um, well, 
Kwekun Sia says, my brother here said, um, blessings. And I'm, I'm, I don't really look at anything in return, but I, I'm pretty sure I think the universe gives back what you what you give. You know, so um, I don't know why people can find you know fun in seeing people survive because that's to me that's my biggest high to see someone really doing it or making it. You know, getting that even if it's as you said, if, even if, for a day, if you trend or it's from a tweet or anything anything I could say to support. That's to me. That's what I do. You know, I like it. It's a great feeling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you see, all my people who think that me, I'm a loser already. SC Mobile says I should I should continue to give out more. Shout out to SC Mobile. So, uh, those on Twitter, uh, what I need you to do is just download the SC Mobile app. Yeah. And you know me. Yeah. So make them download them. Just download it. And let me know that you've downloaded it. You have your ticket. I've given out five tickets. Solid. Yes, yeah, so you download it for screenshots. Yeah. And just tag me. Or just mention at Andy Dusty. And you have your ticket. I beg, I'm giving out to five people. Yeah. And, and you'll be all sorted. But, hey, Sack, I'm inviting you tonight. To the um, I think my mom was... Uh, they should discipline one of my sisters. And as a child, I felt like I wanted to go. And I was holding my mom's leg. Uh, oh. And she was like... In the name of the okay. And then we take over uh, dining table. Okay. Yeah, from that time. But I like it because it's like a star. Okay. And it's right on the forehead. So mm. yeah. I see. Uba usukwa for how They say you be what you Illuminati. Mickey Nana Jackson says, Mr. Andy, please ask him. Okay, I, I read that. Rejoice. He also said, Good morning, Andy. Welcome back. Thank. Um, they gave me that. They invited me and they gave me that. So, so it was not like I knew this is what we we're going to do. Um, so, and right after that, it's been like me being all over the place, out, outside the country, and even when I'm here, I'm all over the place. So I'm yet to sit down with the whole team <laughs> and uh, moving forward. They say you're also on TV. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, moving forward, you know, see what we are putting in place because I have a lot of ideas that we could execute. Only if they can meet, um, you know, the plans that I have, and then we can we can execute that. Yeah. I see. Okay. Uh. Sultan Drinks introduces a unique drink made from vitalizing green tea, enriched with a millennia old secret of black seed, powerful ginseng, complemented with the best honey and amazing taste of jasmine. Taste a new experience. Taste Sultan Ice Tea. You know what you drink. Charlie, by that time, why you are too hungry? No, you are too hungry. You, you think now I'm not? No, but I mean, I mean that hunger. Yeah. Charlie, but back then the hunger was something else. It's, it's natural, it was too fierce. It's, it's natural. Yeah, there was some lion in you. <laughs> yeah, that, you're always roaring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Ejo, yes, so you wanted to say something? Yes, I just wanted to take advantage of the platform and shout uh, our sponsor.